Hello all. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the GSM module. This GSM board uh, can be used for SMS services, MS, MMS services, fax services, data and voice link over mobile network. This uh, GSM modem uses the most popular SIM 300 module. This is the SIM 300 GSM module. And to communicate with the with your PC or microcontroller, it has got a RS-232 serial interface using, of course, uh, Max 232 IC. And this is the antenna for the GSM modem. For USB option, you have to uh, uh, use a USB to UART board. This is the USB to UART board and this is supplied with a RS-232 cable. This RS-232 cable is a one-to-one -one cable and it's not a crossover cable. And also a USB cord is provided with this uh, converter board so that you can connect it to your laptop or to your PC where uh, this RS-232 is not supported. And this uh, GSM board has got uh, some LEDs this uh, provided for debugging purpose. This is the power LED. This green LED is the power LED. As soon as you give the 12 volt DC adapter at this point, 12 volt 1 amps adapter we are using for uh, as a power supply. And this is the power LED, and this one is the network signal LED, and this uh, intermittently keeps on glowing when the signal is there. And uh, this LED is the ring LED. When it uh, when the SIM receives the call, this uh, ring LED will glow according to the ring back tone. This GSM board can be controlled using uh, standard AT commands. AT is the abbreviation for attention. And the commands specific to GSM network are called extended AT commands. This uh, GSM board is provided with a SIM holder at the back side of the board. This uh, SIM holder is very flimsy, so please uh, handle it very carefully. Uh, you can put a valid uh, SIM activa activated SIM in this holder. Generally, uh, a GSM modem can process 6 to 10 SMS messages per minute. But with a general packet radio service GPRS technology, which is an extension of uh, GSM, about 30 SMS messages per minute can be achieved. Of course, at a higher data transmission speed. So generally, what is available in the market is a GPRS modem, but people call it as a GSM modem. A GPRS modem with keypad display is nothing but an AT enabled uh, GSM mobile phone. And the other versions of uh, GSM modem available in the market is a Fargo Mastro GSM GPRS uh, module, which is a concealed module, which is provided with an antenna. This is the antenna and the uh, this is the Fargo Mastro GSM GPRS module. To start with, insert an active SIM into the uh, SIM, SIM holder and lock it uh, carefully. And after that, you connect a 12 volt DC adapter. As soon as you connect the DC adapter, this uh, green power LED glows and then the signal LED blinks. To verify the uh, uh, ringing LED, just call the SIM number. You can see the LED glowing.
we can see the uh, LED ringing, LED glowing according to the ring back tone. This is the first uh, step of checking your GSM module. After verifying the ring LED, now you are going to connect it to the, to the RS-232 port of your PC. This is the RS-232 cable. The other end is a... This is the female connector. This goes to the... Uh, to your PC. If your PC doesn't support uh, RS-232, then... Uh, you have to use a UART, USB to UART board. This is the USB to UART board. Connect the USB cable supplied along with the UART board. And the other end is the USB cable that goes to your USB port of your laptop or PC. For your GSM board to communicate with your PC or microcontroller, generally you need a terminal software. If your operating system is XP, then you you have the hyper terminal incorporated. If it is a Windows 7 uh, operating system, there is no hyper terminal. You have to download a software called Putty. Putty is the best software. You can use it for XP also very well. It is uh, faster, very uh, very much faster than Hyper Terminal, and I recommend Putty uh, Hyper Terminal. This is the Hyper Terminal software. Google for Putty, free download. This is a very small software, and it is a standalone software. No installation is required. Just double click on the downloaded uh, file, it will run directly. This is the opening window of the Putty software. From the device manager, we have uh, learned that we have connected a UART board to COM6. So we have to configure for that. Now select uh, serial in this and uh, change this to COM6 since we have connected uh, a serial adapter to uh, COM6. You can adjust the baud rate, uh, leave it as uh, 9600 you can give a name and save it now select the saved set uh, session and uh, load it now the terminal software opens now you can communicate with your gsm board through the at commands we shall see the at commands in this session just type in AT and press enter GSM board uh, active or not just uh, type in AT plus C pin and a question mark and then enter C pin ready means SIM is ok now to dial a number you use the ATD code ATD followed by your uh, mobile number and after that a semicolon a semicolon is a must don't forget the semicolon just enter now the call is made to the mobile number to dial a call use the ATD command ATD followed by the mobile number and after that a semicolon 
a semicolon is a must just enter now this uh, mobile is called to hang on the phone use the ATH command ATH and enter this uh, hangs on the call to send SMS you have to just switch the GSM to text mode for now your GSM is set to switch to text mode now you have to provide the mobile number to where the SMS to be sent AT plus CMGS equal to a double quote and then your mobile number close the quote and enter now the putty terminal waits for the SMS uh, message to be typed after typing the message press control Z control Z to send the message now the message is sent to the mobile number you can check up your mobile